Hey guys, it's Kate from Kate Wilkinson Creative back with another handy tutorial all about how to grow your blog and business using the power of my favorite platform, Pinterest. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create video pins. So these are pins within Pinterest that have video or animation on them. And these are relatively new to Pinterest, but they are incredible for engagement. And I'm going to be using my favorite free graphic design tool called Canva. So let's dive in. Head to canva.com and you can create a free account, which has got a ton of incredible features. Then we're going to click on create a design. Now we can click Pinterest pin from the drop down, or if it doesn't appear, just start typing in Pinterest and it appears like so. Now, the great thing about using Canva for these designs is because this canvas here is designed for the Pinterest algorithm. It's the right height and width, so we won't get shrunk in the Pinterest feed. Now, you may already have some Canva templates for Pinterest that you love. I'll also link below in the notes my shop where I have really beautiful Canva templates for Pinterest that you can customize. But for now, I'm going to just use what Canva has supplied. So you can see here, I'm in the templates section here, and I can see all these really beautiful template options that we have. So I'm just going to choose this one here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just make this really match my brand. So first thing I'm going to get rid of this barbecue picture and I'm going to come over to photos. Now, if you have a free Canva account, you can search for photos and you can just filter by what's free. I do use a pro account because I share my templates as part of my shop. So I'm going to click that too apply filters and you can search for all sorts of things whether it be like fashion or blogging or food now i'm just going to grab one from here that i've already used before like so just size it like so and it makes it a background image then I'm going to change them as colors so I make this guy white I'm going to make this my dark color let's just kind of customize all these I'm going to get rid of these and what I like to do when I'm editing these texts I like to do two things firstly one is ungroup any text I just find it too hard to customize otherwise and what I'm going to do is pull this down here, pull this down here. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to go to position and make sure they're all centered. I can put this in there too. position, make it all lovely and centered like so. And I'm going to make these my fonts. So I'll do this really quickly. My font is play fair display which is a free font in part of canva i want it to be bold uh, i'm going to put my website address in here kate wilkinson creative.com i'm going to change that font to something like this i like it to be uppercase i click this button here and I want that to sit in a box. I'm going to go to elements and now my box is in recently used, but it's also available in shapes. These are free shapes that you can add to your designs. And I want to put my website URL in this little kind of strip at the bottom. So I'm going to make that white. Actually, I'm going to change this color to my pink. Like so now, because I use a pro Canva account, I have my brand colors here, but if you don't have a pro account, you can just click add new color and type in the color codes for your brand colors in there. So this is looking really good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, make it a bit wider, I can't help it. 
help with being a bit particular, is I'm going to find my blog post. So the blog post I'm going to create a video pin for is called Lead Magnet versus Content Upgrade and How to Create Yours. So I'm going to select all and paste this title in and I'm going to reduce this text size to that looks pretty good. I want it to be a bit bolder. There we go. That's looking more like my brand. And then I'm going to grab the subtitle, which is and how to create yours, copying and pasting in there. Let me fix that font quickly. OK, so this is looking really, really great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the copy button here because I'm going to show you three different designs for video pins. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little kind of icon to the top of the pin here and it's going to be like a category tag. So it's kind of filing it in what this pin is about. So I'm going to click the circle button here. I'm going to pull it into share into place there like so. I'm going to make it my pink color. And then I want to add my video element. So what I'm going to do, I'm in the element still. I'm going to search for, okay, so this is about uh, email list growth. So I'm going to look for a envelope. Oh, there we go, like so. And I'm going to then use these filter buttons here to select free and then animated like so. Then I can see all of the animated envelope icons. So then I'm going to reduce this in size and just pop it in there like so. And that is a video pin. So this is just having some really subtle animation on your pin design. So in the same kind of vein, I'm going to create another pin just like this with this little like kind of category icon at the top but I'm going to do the opposite. So instead of having a static background and an animated envelope icon, I'm going to do the other way around. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for a circle. I'm still in elements. I'm going to click enter, but then I'm going to filter by free and animated, apply those filters, and I'm going to find a cute little animated icon. Now this one looks pretty close to my brand pink. I'm going to select that, center it, maybe a bit bigger like so. Great. So this is my video element in the pin. Then I'm going to search for an envelope. Click enter, but then I'm going to swap my filters. So still free, but I want it to be static, not animated because I've already got the video element here. Then I'm going to get just a really simple envelope, maybe this one here. I'm going to reduce it in size so it fits inside this circle. I'm going to center it and I'm going to change the color. Now because it's a static element, I can change the color. I'm going to make it white. And there we have our second video pin in a flash. Now, what if you have a video, say from your phone, a YouTube recording you've done, and you want to actually insert that into the pin itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this background and I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to go to the video tab. You can do this in the uploads section and you can click upload and grab something from your computer. However, I'm going to just use a free video from Canva. So again, you can filter by free and premium. Premium are paid. They're generally only about a dollar, which is very affordable. But I'm going to search for someone who is writing. So I type in writing and I scroll down. Let's have a look. Now this looks perfect. It's free. And I'm going to just pull it into place like so. Now you can see, cause I've got my box here. You can't actually see the video very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my box and I'm going to change the transparency using this button here. So I want it to be about, oh, about 80% or so. 
maybe 85 is it too hard to read maybe let's go 90 okay so we can see she's in the background if i click play you can see the movement behind now i want to see a little bit more of her so there's two things we can do firstly we could just reduce the size of this box and text and what i'm doing is i'm holding down the shift key as i click on all these elements like so and then i can just resize here and i can still don't know what that is i can still kind of play around with like that but maybe i want to see some more so i'm going to click on the actual video in the background i'm going to scroll up and you can see i can actually resize the proportions of the video within the pin design here so if i make her bigger like so when i click on it i click here and play when this is appearing in the pinterest feed it's going to stand out more we can see her face it's not so mysterious what this pin is about so these are the three examples of video pins for pinterest we've got static background little animated icon we have the animated background static icon and then we have a video in the background so now we're ready to upload these to pinterest we're going to click the download button we want the file type to be video. Now, if you download all of these like so, if all of these are ticked at once, it's going to download it as one video file. When you click play, it'll show the first pin, second pin, third pin. So we don't want that. So we need to download them all individually. So I'm gonna start with page one, click done, click download. So you can see here it is in my downloads. I'm going to go to my finder right now. I'm going to click on downloads like so. And you can see here that if I increase this, here is our first video pin. Now it's ready to upload to Pinterest. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll see you all soon. Bye.